Good morning, Patriots. I'm Olivia. I know it's only Thursday, but to make room for our special Teacher Appreciation Friday special, this is the Patriot Sports Update. Before we get to the update, one quick announcement. The FCA, aka Fellowship of Christian Athletes program, will be doing a Fields of Faith event after the Varsity Boys Lacrosse game this Friday. This event will take place on the turf after the varsity game has ended. It will be a time of prayer, fellowship, and some singing, so join the FCA program for this amazing event. It was a quiet day yesterday after a busy and successful day on Wednesday when most of our spring sports teams took on crosstown rival Monticello and won. The spring seasons are winding down, however, so here's where each team stands and what they have coming up in the final weeks of the regular Jefferson District season. Let's start with soccer. After polishing off Monticello this week, Sam Fisher, Natalie Wolf, and the whole crew sit alone atop of the standings at 12 and 1. Their only defeat was a narrow 2 1 loss to non conference opponent Miles Godwin. Only two games remain for the girls before district and regional tournaments begin. They'll play at CHS tonight, then on the road at Louisa on Monday before wrapping up their season at home against who else? Western next Thursday night. Boys soccer has been on quite a run lately since that heartbreaking home loss to Western back on April 22nd. The boys have won four straight to bring their regular season record to 10 and two with one tie. In those four straight wins, they have outscored their opponents 10 to one. Like the girls, the boys have three remaining regular season games against CHS, Louisa and Western. The last chance to see them play at home before postseason tournaments begin will be tonight against CHS and Monday against Louisa before they head to Western for revenge on the final day of the regular season. It's been an up and down kind of season for the baseball team under the management of coach Chad Townsend. After losing four of five in April, the squad has come back to win four of their last five games. The offense has plated 35 runs over the last three games, while James Rolfe and the rest of the Patriot pitching staff have allowed just three runs in that same stretch. The boys are now nine and eight on the season with a chance to position themselves for the postseason with three games left. You can see them at home tonight against CHS. First pitch for that game is 6.30. It's been something of a rebuilding year for girls lacrosse, a young team that struggled early, losing four of five games in March but the improvement has come steadily and the team has grown in confidence, notching five wins against just two losses since the start of April. Kelsey Kurdake and Riley Maynard have provided steady offense for the team, who are now six and six on the season with two tough road games remaining. They'll travel to CHS tomorrow night and then wrap up the regular season at Douglas Freeman on Tuesday. It's a similar story for boys lacrosse who struggled to score goals in the first month of the season. The boys lost three of their first four contests, but have rebounded nicely. Since April 8th, the team has gone seven and one, including that thrilling overtime victory over Monticello this past week. Now at eight wins and four losses, the boys are playing for higher seeding in the district and regional tournaments. They'll play their final two games at home tomorrow night against CHS, and then next Thursday night against Glen Allen. The young Patriots softball team has struggled to score runs this season, as their 3-13 record would indicate, but signs of improvement have been everywhere. Maya Washington has put up numbers all season and led the team with big wins over Culpeper, Charlottesville, and Manassas. They look to finish the season on a winning note in their four remaining contests, including Charlottesville tonight at home. On to tennis, where the boys' squad sits at nine and three on the season, and the girls have been equally impressive, racking up eight wins against five losses. The boys team has two remaining matches with Charlottesville coming to A-Town tonight, and then a road match against Western next week. The girls will play four times before the regular season comes to an end. They'll wrap up their season with a home match against rival Western Albemarle next Friday. Due to time constraints and too many accomplishments to name right now, we'll tell you all about our track and field team and their dominance at Louisa tomorrow on the Friday special edition of A-Town Today. So now that you're all caught up, we'll see you all out on the field tonight as the Patriots prepare for a historic wrap-up to the 2024 season. That's all we have for you today. We'll see you tomorrow on A-Town Today.